Hello and how are you? My name is Mohindo Mubarak and I welcome you to our 12th lecture of creating a complete um, hotel management system. So you always do 40 minutes. I'll go ahead and start our timer. So let's go straight into today's business. In the previous lecture, we're about to make this landing page and we are committed to at least make it uh, everything clickable. And the previous lecture we're able to display these rooms, but uh, they're just rooms, but and we'll only display the name. So what we're going to do, they're going to begin by adding there some dummy content. Uh, let's add there some dummy data so that uh, by the time we display the rooms, they're actually rooms that are coming from the database. Can you, can you all right so okay so um let's start let's start let's start sort about that so i'm going to log in as administrator i'll go to stroke admin uh php so what we're going to do right now we're going to add just some um, dummy content for the rooms so to add the rooms we can uh, benchmark from our from our hot from our template so i can just simply come here and say uh template and then go to our sorry uh, it is under our project it's under project hotel pro and then stroke at me and then stroke what stroke templates okay so from there thank you From there, I'll go to Hotel 2 and then go to this. Uh, so what we want to do, we want to get these pictures of these different rooms, okay? So we can create rooms that are matching the template. So we can have something that is actually like our template, right? So what we're going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to do what? I'm going to go to the template, okay? I'll go to the template. All right. I'll go to where the template is and then we look at the kind of pictures that are there. So my table under HD docs and uh, Hotel Pro and um, templates and uh, Hotel Pro. Under this, under this, under this, under this, under this, under IMG. Sorry, under IMG. Okay. So under IMG, so we can uh, uh, look at rooms. I think these are the rooms. So these are the main photos. See. So in the rooms we have the photos. And then the gallery photos okay i hope you can see that so if i go ahead and do like this i can be able to see different kinds of photos that we have right with different dimensions okay so we're going to use this one to create our room so we're going to begin by creating only four five rooms five rooms and then from those five rooms we can uh, come up with that what we want exactly so we begin by coming here uh, to our project okay and then i'm going to edit this first room uh so this first room i can call it for example uh let's go ahead and call this one we go here to main layout I'm going to call this one Genius Suit, for example. So I'll come and say Genius Suit, all right? And then I select a category where it belongs, okay? So, or we can begin by creating uh, the categories of rooms. For example, you can have the Genius Suit uh, category, uh, the Family Room category, and then the double room categories so those be as categories okay so a category can have multiple rooms okay so let's create these main categories and then inside those categories we can put different rooms okay let's create this one as categories okay 
so what i'll do i'll come here and create this one as category so i'll come to a project you're creating the dummy content so let me come to categories and then click on uh, uh, let me begin by editing this one i'll just simply put this in a category room and then on a category so if you still remember uh when you go to uh our template you'll see that um, when you go to the rooms listing you have that top category i mean the picture that of, of the category that is on top there that picture okay so it's thought that we're going to do what uh to add as the main photo of our category that picture that you see on top there all right so i'll come into a category and then go ahead and select for example template one okay and then i'll go ahead and select the category photo that i want so i can go ahead and down and drag and drop let's see so uh i want to see the one that inspires this one okay So it's not here let's go back to have here our rooms so let me be like downloading this one I can't hear you. I think you're muted. You can't hear me. Hello? Okay, I can hear you now. I can hear you now. All right. Okay. So I want to get this photo. So this photo is under slider image one okay so let's go ahead and put this photo as the main category for this so we are setting the dummy content you can use this video for setting the dummy content so we come here to slider and then this is uh yeah the photos that are there okay the actual that you use for sliders okay so let's go ahead and put this here so I'll come i come and drag and drop it there and drag and drop it here All right and then the details for this uh, so let me go ahead and submit that that is submitted so you can have here our first room category there Let's go ahead and put another room category. So let me go ahead and select. Family rooms. All right, so it's going to be family rooms. So come and put here family rooms. That's a category. And then I'll go ahead and make it maybe template one. So I go ahead and select this photo. So the photo is under under HT Docs under Hotel Pro under template under hotel under this under this under this under this under this then under img then under sliders okay or it slides slider all right so we had used this let's make the use of this second all right let me start by name let me use the second one so I submit so you see it is there create the third one so the third one to say double rooms let's create double rooms 
so i'll come here and say create new and i put uh double rooms double rooms select maybe template two go ahead and select this to be using the, the image three and go ahead and submit that is double rooms uh let's proceed now to dlx rooms all right create here lex rooms and then i go ahead and select maybe template three i mean template three or anything template we have not put those into consideration so let's see this one let's use this number third all right and then put it there then lastly let's go ahead and create superior rooms create new superior rooms maybe template three then go ahead and select this one okay let's select this one all right there you go i submit all right so we have those three room categories and you can see our images are showing up uh, very clearly i can even be able to edit and change even the image that's beautiful then we proceed to another thing i'll go ahead and now create the rooms themselves okay so i'm going to put for example room number one let's go ahead and edit the one that has that's ready here so i'll come and say edit room number one junior room junior suit maybe one this can be like room one of junior suit okay that's the number of the room okay so i'll go ahead and uh, i'll go ahead and uh, do what and select the room category it's under junior suits and then i can put price say maybe 100 us dollar and then i go ahead and put the what the it is vacant the status I can put the status is vacant at this moment and it says you should display on the home page then i go ahead and put the main photo for this room so the main photo i'll go ahead and select here and then i go back here you just got columns so I'll go back to IMG and then I come to rooms. Okay. So here I can select this number one to be our main photo. Go ahead and select that one. All right. There we go. And uh, then after room details, uh, let's go ahead and see what we have here for room details. So I can open this guy and see what we have for room details. So you can put this content just get some kind of lorem ipsum let me put this and then come and paste it here okay i pasted that one here you can see that all right so we proceed uh the rating can be maybe uh four and then template will be using template one and then pets allowed so i'll go ahead and follow what is in the template okay pets if allowed uh pets allowed so i can go ahead and say uh, pets allowed pets allowed pets allowed so i can go and say uh, pets not allowed let me use what we have in the template and see if you shall have a relevant thing here pets not allowed uh -huh. check-in information so i'll go ahead and check for this uh for check-in check-in information i can go ahead and put this all right Okay, and then the checkout information. Let me go ahead and put this. What if I put the whole thing? The checkout information. I go ahead and put that. All right. All right. Okay, so after doing that, uh, maybe I can let's try to put the whole thing and see how it look like. So I can put this, and then come and get this. All right, so after doing so, after doing so, uh, the next thing that I'm going to do is special instructions. So I'll get, um, get these special instructions and put them here. All right, so uh, children, policy for children, I'll put this guy and put it here. So, uh, we proceed to policy for children is there. I uh, come and put here anonymities. 
so you have your person or group of people say so free text you can enter that so wi-fi yes maybe parking yes maybe breakfast no i go ahead and select towels yes maybe swimming pool no i select what i want to display there sc yes something like that all right i submit so it has submitted the room for us but i've seen the challenge is adding their room the form is too huge okay so what we're going to do we're going to put the logic of duplicating a room okay i'm going to put the logic of duplicating a room like uh copying the whole room after copying it we just modify it okay so we call it duplicate. so we're going to put here a button that we call shall we call duplicate so when you click on it it should duplicate a room okay so let's go ahead and do that logic it should duplicate it so i rather instead of feeding that form afresh you just duplicate a room and then modify a few things let's put that logic it can be important can be useful for the people who are going to use the system so let's go ahead and go to rooms okay so go to our rooms file and then we try to put that logic of duplicating okay so let's go to the system so the system is here so going to room admin rooms.php and then on that file we're going to put a logic for duplicating the room so I'll go ahead and put I'll go ahead and say so we'll have a button of edit delete yes. so here I'm going to put a button for duplicate okay so just like we had delete here no, I delete for rooms by the way i've not worked on it delete for rooms let's put this one uh admin rooms okay so delete for rooms look so you have your edit so just put another button copy or duplicate let's call it copy room so this will make a duplicate of a room so it's going to be just like delete let's come and copy this link and put it here all right so here instead of putting an id i'm going to put the word duplicate right so duplicate it will be it will be sending the get to this particular file and then after we do the logic of duplicating just first close this okay i hope you get it so let's come and refresh the come and refresh you'll see that you have a button of copy so you can make this and maybe info okay or duplicate all right so let's call it duplicate okay so it is refreshing it is just sending to the same room right so if i click here you see it is the same link but on top here you have duplicate so what you're going to do we are going to go there on top and do the logic of duplicating right okay let's go ahead and do that logic so I'll come on top of this file on top of this file here on top of this file so we're going to check this is supposed to be rooms for deleting it eh? a uh, room not found some let me first finish this deleting thing so it is found go ahead and delete its photo and then after we do delete from rooms just as simple as that so you can say room deleted successfully then we direct back to admin rooms so that is for deletion you can go ahead and fix that very fast all right so you can go to delete the room okay let's begin with the duplicate so the duplicate is you have to check if there's a gate of this duplicate so i'll just simply go ahead and say if it's set uh duplicate all right i'll go ahead and just do like the way you did it here i'll go ahead and find that room that want to duplicate 
okay so let me instead of putting delete here, i'll just put here duplicate so i'll get the room and then if it's not found i die and say room not found okay so it is there so we're going to have original rooms to be so let's put here let's call this an original copy it's the original copy so that's the original copy so let me go ahead and say echo and say free tag and then say printer and then die let's first see that so if i come to our rooms and i click on duplicate you'll see it is giving us the room that's already existing in the database mm -hmm. now let's go ahead and uh, and create a new version of that room so to create a new version of that room we shall just simply say uh duplicate duplicate equals to original all right and then we delete the id okay so because the id is the one that will make the room to be overwrite itself so for this room it has to be a new one okay so you have to do an asset id so that you're going to have something like this okay so you see what you're going to have let me hit print here um original and the duplicate and i show you the difference okay put here hr so let me come and refresh here oh my god that's it let me semicolon refresh so you see what has happened uh what has happened here is that uh, we have the original which has the id but the duplicate does not have an id so meaning that this is going to be a new record and this is going to be the existing record however we can change like the duplicated room it should be in pending something like that okay so i hope you've seen that i hope you understood that All right so everything that is the other side has come this side okay so i hope you've seen that i hope you've understood that so let's go ahead and proceed so after copying and so what has made this one to not have the id is just to is just to have this word id so maybe we can add the word name okay we can add the word copy on the name so that's how someone should be able to do us to identify the word that was duplicated and edit it and the and perfect it okay so you shall have the copy on the name all right so this created that you can remove those ones let's remove these two then you go ahead and do some insert all right so it's going to be new i mean db insert okay db insert and then if it is successful you're going to say a message equals to alert room duplicated successfully and then we'll direct back to what to admin rooms and exit you see that hope you've seen that so let's go ahead and try this so come and refresh here so you see room duplicated successfully and we have here two rooms okay we have two rooms this one and this one All right so let me go ahead and edit this second one and remove this word copy i mean this word a uh, copy so I'll come and say remove the word copy so you see now changing it is very hard i mean changing is now very simple can go ahead and now select a different what a different room photo so let's make this one room number two room number two let's give it some gallery so the gallery is going to be this a photo i can select this one and this one all right to be our room gallery photos go ahead and say save and then i submit so you see so i can just simply change a few things but uh well i have a duplicate so you see i have now room number two so that becomes very simple for us okay so let's go ahead and create room number three so i just simply duplicate this second room because for it at least have some gallery so i have this copy let me go ahead and edit the copy uh so you see the photos already there uh so let's go ahead and edit this it's going to be room number uh, room number three 
junior room number three let's go ahead and uh, finish this junior room so i can delete this photo maybe okay uh -huh, let's make this the dream number three and then i go ahead and select the main photo and make it maybe to be this one all right let me make it to be uh this one to be this number four okay so i go ahead and submit so you have those rooms there all right let's add some more rooms uh, uh some more two rooms in uh different categories so you see duplicating is very simple just duplicate it it's copied and then i come to edit so it's going to be room number three i go ahead and say this is room number three and then uh it's going to be room number four i think and then i go ahead and set its main photo so the main photo can be this one and then i put it under a different category let's go ahead and select a different category family room one so let's call this a maybe family room one uh family room one okay i go ahead and get and set its photos for example i can go ahead and set this one and the, let's go ahead and slide i hope they have the same dimensions all right let's go ahead and set in this one let's say maybe these are the photos for the room the gallery room photos i go ahead and do what and submit let me say maybe use the template number two so submit that is the family room it's there uh, where is family room it is here let me again go ahead and uh, duplicate this one and then i'm going to call this one family room two family room two Go ahead and select uh, family room and then I save. The only that I need to change the main photo so it can look a little bit different. Come here to, to what? To photos, rooms, select this one. I mean, number four, it's been selected. That one and then submit. All right, that's it. Uh, that's it. That's it. So we can begin by playing with these ones. We can begin by playing with these rooms. Can be enough. Let me do this one to be the last. So we have duplex room, double rooms. To make this one to be the last one. Uh, double. Double. Room. Double. Double rooms. Right, so I'll go ahead and select the double room here, okay, and then after, let's select this one, and then after, i go ahead and submit, then the very last one, let's come and call this one to be, let's come and edit this, remove copy, uh, maybe it can be uh double room two it's under double room and go ahead and select uh, maybe this last image right and go said put some photos for it i go here and select uh, this photo okay and this one all right that can be enough for us to get started with i submit so there we go there you go. So we have those rooms, seven rooms. That are enough for us to get started with demonstration. Uh, so yeah. So let's proceed. Let's proceed now to what? To our front end. So I'll go ahead and click here. So you'll see that I am here. So these are the rooms. They have different different names. But the problem is, the pictures are not changing. So let's go ahead and put the pictures. All right. So to put the pictures. I'll just simply go ahead and go to our index and go to where is the template here okay so let's go ahead and put the picture here let's go ahead and put the picture so do you put the picture we put the picture here okay put the picture here so it's going to be Upload stroke main photo. You see, 
upload stroke new in photo so come and refresh you see you have different photos hope you can see that hope you can see that you have different photos however you can limit the number of the room that should show up on the home page all right so after doing so we have a uh, price so now another challenge that we are having we have not set the configuration we call the system another person can use different currency okay so we might need to change the what the configuration like for different currencies whether we shall come that later so let me go ahead and uh, change this one to i change this one to so I put here the price remove this word okay so something like that so that price per night or per day or whatever so I save there come and refresh you see that we have our different prices there all right you only what you need is just to come and modify those ones in your that we put on the data boy on the on the, on the dashboard and then you'll have different prices but here the main point you can see different prices all right so you proceed go ahead and update those remaining variables or oh, what you're going to do we're going to put a configuration okay so the configuration is going to be here in our functions so we can put here some constants that we're going to be using we have the base url let's put another one uh currency uh car see i hope that's the spelling i don't know let's get the correct spelling here single currency double c the correct spelling is correct so currency for example in my account i can put for example ugx so that's going to be you're going to be substituting that currency in the what so let's put it it has to be just on top top there let's put it here okay so we're going to be collecting this currency on the system so let's go ahead and display this so instead of putting us dollar instead of putting us dollar we can just simply go ahead and put the what the currency however this currency is coming from the files function i mean file functions file so if I come and refresh, you see that the currency has changed to UGX. Hope you can see that something that has not uh, changed. So we can say maybe, for example, UGX is always on top, in front. So UGX and then uh, the, the money. All right, so if I refresh, it will be like that. Alright, so we proceed to the this background information. This background information we are going to have uh, the room name. Okay, so I'm going to put here the price. Okay, I'll go ahead and put here the price per night. Let me just come and copy this guy. Okay, so I'll come and remove this and put the price per night. All right, so the next thing, I put the category. I mean, so I put the name, or you can just put the category. Uh, you can put the category by again first selecting, okay? For now, let's just put there the name of the product or the, or the, or the, or the room. Alright, and then short description. We forgot to put short description. Uh, since we're not going to. Let me see if we go to details of a room. Okay, so I don't have. Okay, you can put maybe special instructions instead. Alright, so let's see if the special instruction will be there. It will sit there. Okay.
Alright, so just copy these details and then come and put it here. So if I put it here, it's going to become too much. If I refresh here, you see that the detail is becoming too much. So what we're going to do, we're going to write the logic that is going to help us to be shortening the details, this kind of details, okay? So I'm going to create here a function or come here to a function files. I'm going to create here a what? Uh, I'm going to create a, a function that I'm going to call shorten or short. Alright, so it will be receiving uh, text and then put here limit. By default, it's 100 limits. So that's how a function is going to be look like. So I'll be giving it some text and the number of how it should truncate it and then it does so. So come look at the video and understand. Alright? Look at the video and understand it. Look at just pause and understand it. So let's go ahead and now shorten this name. I mean this description. So this is the function so reported. I can just simply put here comma and then put first, second. Uh, we cannot put there. So I come here and put short and then I pass the uh, item details and then I can say maybe uh, 50. So if I come and refresh, you'll see that uh, our word has been what has been shortened. So I can go ahead and say maybe uh, 80 text. And if I come and refresh, okay. Put 60. Come and refresh. You see that one can sit there. However, you can play with what you exactly want. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then you come to the persons if it allows persons, and then the number. I mean, uh, it allows persons. So you can come put just some, somewhat some different uh, anonymities. I mean, it is okay. So let's go ahead and put there the person thing. So you come here, and copy this, and put it here, then we come to our create, Okay, let's look at uh, what you need to add there. So, have your maximum people. I think that's what we're going to put there. The maximum people. So, I'll copy it. And then duplicate it here. Put your maximum people. So, if I come and refresh. You'll see the maximum people word is being what it is uh, uh, reflecting accordingly. All right, so you go ahead and check if the Wi Fi is yes or no.
after doing that, you can check so you can come here and get different flat icons that you want. See, flat icons. Okay, so that's it. Right now, we can at least uh, list the rooms. In the next lecture, we are going to work on the listing. I mean, sorry, on the room details, and maybe customer registration and booking. That's what we're going to work on in the next lecture. So here, at least, we can list the rooms and see the rooms that are uh, what that are. Uh, have been posted in the system you can duplicate the rooms we can decide which room should show up on the home page or not so in the next lecture we're going now to work on the showing the detail of the room okay so i think this is the place you can find all the icons that you want with their respective names all right so in the next lecture we're going now to see how we can now do the detail of the room and I hope you're not going to miss. So see you there. Uh, we are going to take this to the next level. And also making sure that the person can be able to register. And also place a booking for a room. See you tomorrow in the next lecture. I will proceed from there. Goodbye.